Okay, so now we're going to look at another woke children's book. Uh, this one, on the surface, I mean, literally reading the book by its cover, it seems maybe not as bad as some of the others that we've that we've looked at, uh, that we've reviewed. But you never know. So we just got to uh, we're, we're going to read this whole thing. It's pretty short, and uh, I'll read the whole thing, and then I'll offer my review. So let's get into it. This is called C is for consent. <laughs> And this is, um, it says ages, this is for ages zero and plus. So if you have a zero year old child, they could, they could read this and, and up from there. I mean, you know, it's a board book. It's short. So this is really for kids, probably, you know, two, three, four or five years old. All right. It says it's time for a party with family and friends. And you see, of course, there we've got uh, the interracial gay couple. We've got the interracial disabled couple. Well, one one member of the couple's disabled. You got to get all the representation there, and um, that's. I don't see any furries. I don't see anyone who's apparently transsexual or even transgender uh, or pansexual. So that's that's a problem. But we'll keep going. Grandma wants a hug, but Finn isn't in the mood. That's okay, says Dad. You don't have to give hugs if you don't want to. Grandpa leans down to kiss Finn. Mom says, please ask for consent first. Grandpa asks, may I kiss you on the cheek? Finn replies, hmm, yes you may. Auntie and uncle want Finn to sit with them. Come sit on my lap. No, you have to sit on my lap. Finn says, no thank you. My parents say I don't have to sit on anyone's lap if I don't feel like it. What a brat this kid is. Mom's friends give Finn a present. Does that mean he has to hug or kiss that person? Only if he wants to. Maybe Finn could high five or fist bump instead. Or maybe he doesn't want to be touched at all. It's his choice what happens to his body. Finn is happy to see his best friend, Rue. He asks, may I hold your hand? It, it is okay for you to say no. Rue replies, yes, you may hold my hand. Thank you for asking first. And that's it. That's the end of the whole story. Okay. Then there are discussion questions at the end, which we won't get into. Well, so that that actually is somewhat surprisingly, this is the worst one yet, I think. This somehow manages to be more disturbing than um, you know, books that are pushing transgenderism and bisexuality and all that kind of stuff. Those books are bad too, but don't get me wrong, but this one disturbs me on a deeper level. So let's count the ways. To begin with. Before we get to the major problems here, this kid is awful. I mean, this is what happens when you have permissive hippie parents. I I would not, I can't imagine if I was a little kid, if I was like six years old and my grandmother came to visit and said, oh, give me a hug. And I said, no, nah, I don't feel like it, granny. I cannot imagine what my dad's reaction would have been. It would not have been pleasant. I can tell you. My reaction with my own kids wouldn't be pleasant in that situation. Yes, I tell them. I guess I violate... I've, let me tell you something. I violate my kids' consent all the time in the sense that I force them to do things they don't want to do. <laughs> Sit down and study! That's much of the day, in fact, is, is involves them doing things that it's not their idea to do those things. They don't really want to do those things. Uh, I mean, clean their room. Let's start with that. Like, I, I don't get their consent for that. Is, what is that, forced labor? Is that slavery? My kids know that when a family member comes over to visit, you go and give them a hug. It's not an option. It's not a choice. You are required to do that. Well, don't look at me like I'm freaking Frankenstein. Give your father a hug. Because that's polite. But the major problem here is that the book explicitly sexualizes physical contact between family members. I mean, this author is, he, he is, well, he, well, it's, who is it? Eleanor Morrison. He, his, her, whoever's, they're, they're taking their own, I don't want to misgender them. Whoever it is, they're taking their own complex and projecting it onto everyone else. I don't know what's going on with you that you view a hug from an aunt or a, a grandfather as potentially sexual in nature, but it's something you should be talking to a therapist about. You don't write it into a children's book, for God's sake. And this is what you get from the left, right? They grew up on a diet of Freud, whether they know it or not. And uh, now they see everything in sexual terms. Everything is sexual. They're incapable of conceptualizing any human interaction that might occur outside of a sexual framework. Everything for them is sexual or potentially sexual. And uh, they're weirdos, in other words, to summarize. Losers, in other words. I mean, let's even, let's take the family dynamic out of it for a second. Just, uh, just for a moment. 
because I don't want to dwell on that. It's too disturbing. And let's pretend that we're talking about just some dude and uh, a girl and they're not related. Even in that context, the idea that verbal consent should precede every physical interaction is asinine. I mean, my wife would look at me like a maniac if we were walking somewhere uh, down the sidewalk or something, and I said, excuse me. May I have consent to hold your hand? Requesting permission to initiate physical interaction. Permission granted. You may maintain physical contact for 75 seconds. Thank you, ma'am. That's what they want. Now we know why leftists are so angry all the time. They're lonely. Nobody wants to be around them because this is they act like some bizarre mix... It's the weirdest mix of hedonistic sex fiend and robot. You wouldn't know perversion if it put clamps on your testicles. Leftist men in particular are just lonely. There's no way any woman wants to be around this kind of thing if they carry on like this. All of this hyper consent stuff, it makes us it makes it makes sense among machines. But for organic creatures, we need organic interactions. We need things to develop naturally. But this all again, this, this is, I'm, I'm talking now about two adults who aren't related. So I'm doing the book a favor by framing the conversation this way. What the book is actually talking about, again, are little kids and their grandparents. They want robotic consent requests, even in that context. Excuse me, young one. May I have consent to kiss you on the forehead and squeeze your cheeks and remark on how big you've gotten since I last saw you two months ago? Permission denied. Get lost, you old fart. That is literally the future the left wants. And I say, no thanks.